Sean Blue Book, Lesson 2, starting with number 7, the year 1620, on page 11. So be careful with the rhythm here. It's 1, 2 and 3. So I practice this in sections with hands together from an early stage. You should be able to read the notes by now without having to think of letters and numbers too much. Okay. Going to stand up? I think so. Right, number eight, shortening bread. This is a, a good one. Um, some people will have heard this with a swing rhythm, which would be. Dun, 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 I think. But this has a straight rhythm one and two and three, four. One and two and three, four. One and two. Those are rather feeble claps before. <laughs> it's, I, I was clapping the the beats and then saying the and, so it's one and two and three four. I wanted to give a bigger clap on the second beat actually because that's where the staccato is. So it's like one and two and three four. One and two and three four. Something like that anyway. So I'll just play it, and that's probably best. Number nine, Magic Flute. So with this one, left hand comes over. Don't bring it over too soon because that first note in the left hand is not staccato. It's, it's supposed to be a full beat. Obviously you can't make it quite a full beat because you've got to get your finger in time to the high C for the second note, but you can you can get close. Okay, here goes. So I got a bit of a taste of my own medicine then. I said you've got to stay on for nearly the full beat. And then I fumbled a note because I couldn't get there in time. So you do the best you can. Number 10. 
the wishbone. It's not very long, so not really an excuse. Um, you, sh you should be able to get this fast, is what I'm trying to say. No excuse for not getting this fast. I think that's it. Double negative. Um, yeah, that's the problem with my um, camera. Basically, I have to record everything in one go and I can't edit. So if I start saying stupid things, then that's too bad. But I'm probably not going to redo it. So where was I? Yeah, the wishbone, nice and fast, get it flowing, like so. And one thing to remember, which I remember a bit late, don't let the left hand dominate. dominate. It's tedious to hear that. Keep the left hand soft. And so on. Nope, that's not going to stay. Number 11. This is a really good one and the left hand is dead easy so you can focus on getting this 6 8 time 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 I was actually um, making a bit of a beat with the heel of my foot um, twice per bar, so it's like beat, 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 beat. Helps keep the rhythm, sort of goes with the song, the sort of drum beat. And yep, that's what it says at the top. I hadn't even seen that. Play the first and fourth counts of beats louder. So if you if you think strongly if you if you're really strong with those two beats and you play it quite fast, it's as if there's actually just two beats in the bar. Um, so yeah, what else was I going to say with this one? I was making the beat quite short. Short, short, or at least the first beat. Almost like a staccato. Um, yeah, you'll sometimes find the more advanced you get in piano that things come naturally to you that aren't exactly how it says in the music. And I would nearly always encourage you to to, to go with whatever it is you're going to do, as long as it doesn't fundamentally change it, because you're giving style and interpretation to the music, it makes it more interesting. Um, I'm going to say as long as it's a conscious choice and not just covering up a mistake. Remember the sharps in this one and uh, loud and soft. Generally in this book, try to be as dramatic as possible. Emphasize if It's much better to emphasize things too much than not really bother. Because, uh, you know, you, you perform piano to, to entertain, not to just follow a set of instructions, you know, that's a bit dull really, you, you, the music's there, it's an indication, but you can interpret it, you can make it dramatic. So I said I wasn't going to talk so much in these lessons, and I'm talking loads, so I hope it's not too annoying.
Number 12, the dress parade. This, this is one you need to perform, because otherwise it can get a bit tedious. So keep a good pace. As it says con brio, I think that means um, pretty lively. Just watch... There's a couple of things you need to watch. There's this eighth bar. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. One, two, three. Yes. Actually, to get it precise, one, two, three. Hold that on a bit longer. And then watch the hand posi position change slightly, I think, in both hands in the next line. All right, then. goes something like something like that to start um, yep let's move on number 13 main difficulty is there's now three flats try and make sure you identify all of those look ahead Another 6-8. This should be a jolly piece. Needs a lot of practice. And like I said before, let's start performing things with a bit of a flourish. Let's give it some drama. Pizzazz, is that a word people use? Something like that. So, number 14, sailing. staccatos where they're not written. I did a pause in the eighth bar and then I think I sped up at the end after the last pause. Uh, partly because I've heard this song before so I'm playing it like I remember it but whatever the reason give it your own style make it entertaining because if you enjoy it more then you'll entertain your listeners more right i think i'll stop that lesson there <laughs> 